I live like, we moved to a new place, new background. Uh, I live downtown, so I'm just like, the river in Wichita is right here, and I love it. So it's been a minute, several minutes, several months. I still drink coffee. And LaCroix, don't forget LaCroix. Uh, a lot has happened in the back half of 2018. Um, a lot in here. First, I actually have to show you guys this. Boom, Boom look at that, look at that guy, look how cool he is. He's just an astronaut grabbing some coffee. Shout out, uh, e Ecclesia, Ecclesia, Ecclesia. There's a really awesome coffee shop on the west side of town, Maple and Ridge. Uh, Probably one of my favorites in town. Probably definitely one of my favorites in town. A lot of time there in the back half of 2018. So I gave several talks in 2018 and I was really going a good direction or at least I thought it was a good direction. And God kind of like sat me down, shoved my face in the mud and like dragged me through it um, spiritually. I really thought I was crushing it. And he taught me what the word humility meant. 2018 could easily be described with that word, humility. I, I became way more humble, way more uh, dependent on Christ in my life. How he acted, how he give me, gives me strength, how I find my strength in him. Um, what that looks like is at the beginning of last summer, I relapsed. I relapsed in. Uh, I have an old vlog that has literally just been unlisted on YouTube forever. I'll, I'll release it um, here within the next week or two. And in it, I, I say, hey guys, I fell. And I can't wait to talk to you guys about the journey. I'll see you next week. And I never posted it. I think I, think I was trying to be really selfless when I didn't have everything figured out inside, which is so annoying. Cause like, I thought I had everything figured out, but like looking, looking at my life back then, it was, I wasn't praying daily. I wasn't, I just was not looking at pornography for a hundred some days. Like sobriety was my goal. And man, and I was trying to start the early drafts of the book, Finding the Flame, which I still loved the concepts. I just w went about it a very secular route. And the relapse, what the relapse taught me, and like slowly just crawling my way through that and being really confused for a long time. I thought I had it figured out. It just drew me back to him. And it's, it's just kind of hysterical because the name Finding the Flame came at the beginning of 2018, if not the end of 2017. And like, it just sounded cool and I liked it. But like the concepts I was talking about in this early versions of the draft were like really just secular. And just the, the flame, I probably would have defined it back then as like your love your secular love for Christ. Just like doing what you like, that primarily being no longer watching porn. And I have another video that I'll put out um, next up, just on like the issue, like how to get out of a porn addiction. You, you can't just define what you're running away from. And I talk about that in that video. And that's what 2018 was. It was really going through a lot of healing, um, recognizing that I'll never, be perfect but what's so great about that is like when you can really tap into that and like the chase of continually getting better that's fulfilling and that like lasts um i'm still i gotta at the end of february i'm going to this uh, this ridiculous <laughs> this ridiculous like therapy intensive weekend it's like eight months of therapy in a weekend which is perfect for being a millennial uh so I'm still learning, still healing. Uh, right now, I'm at about three months, three, three and a half months um, since the last time I looked at pornography and masturbated. And 
it's <sighs> finding the flame has never been more true. Like I actually love where I am. I'm not just chasing sobriety. Like I legitimately have to like look it up whenever someone's like, how long has it been? Cause like, I just don't remember. I don't care. That's no longer my primary purpose. And that's, that's what I learned the back half of 2018. Uh, so my goal for 2019 is to put out 52 videos, a video every week, which is perfect because I'm already behind. <laughs> Typical. Uh, so I'm going to have to double up several weeks. I'm going to have to double up, drink a lot of coffee. Um, I got some talks planned out in the new place. I got the cool mural. I'm going to give a talk in front of the mural over here. I guess it's like there if you look at the camera. 2019 is going to be already shaping up to be ridiculous like what I learned about my faith in the last literally three months of 2018 it's just stuff I never knew I never like really understood like I've encountered Christ's love I felt it before but like to live in a constant state of just like I can tap into it whenever and just like really feel it all the time Finding the flame. I, I, I have been finding my flame. It's beautiful. And I wish that for everyone. So, I, I want to wrap this up. Sorry, I just disappeared for a while. Uh, I needed some spiritual selfishness to get back to trying to be selfless and really having enough to give. I really learned what, like, that I was trying to give so much that I didn't even have. And I needed to go through months of just like this spiritual selfishness so that I could really give more than I was before. Cause what it was before was more like a planned out like Eric's version. And what I've got is like, man, my heart is just like in tune with my mind and what I had like in Christ and his love and the Holy Spirit is flowing way more than it has ever been. So I want to share. I want to share in that. I got I got a lot to do. I got several videos um, coming up, planned out over the next couple weeks. A lot of Q and A. I have like hundreds of Q and A questions that I'm just gonna make compilations to. So that's gonna be fun. Look forward to that. Uh, I got a couple more talks uh, that I gave at the back half of 2018, just as I was really going through stuff. So also uploading those. A lot to do. I think it'll be easy to hit the 52 total, not necessarily one every week, probably like four every four weeks, every fourth week, because that's just, I'm stupid like that. So yeah, I'm excited to be back. I'm excited to continue all the, all the coffee. Uh, I'm excited to interact more uh, down in the comments with more q and I'm beyond excited just for like where the draft is going where it's like gone i'm so pumped to put that out 2019 it's gonna be a good year